Hey everyone, welcome back to Life in the Hyam House. I do things a little different today. As many of you guys know, we have a uh, uh, we have chickens in our backyard that we raise for eggs. Um, and uh, last year, as they were kind of getting to a place where we needed to start thinking about where we were going to keep them, um, we realized it was time for them to get a coop and a place that would be safe for them to run around. Since we do have some predators in the area, and we have lost chickens and ducks before, uh, this year we wanted to do something a little different to make sure that we could keep this year's flock uh, safe. So we're going to do something a little different with the vlog today. We're going to actually talk about our, our, our chicken run and I'm going to tell you what it is, where I bought it, and what I think about it. And uh, maybe it's a product that you might be able to use as you think about uh, your chickens and how you want to care for them, provide a place for them that is safe and sufficient for them. So uh, let's jump in and uh, get this started. So I went with a product that I picked up on Amazon uh, from Better Hood. It's a metal chicken coop. Here you can see the box. Um, fairly large box. Um, does have a little bit of weight, but it's not too, too crazy heavy. I was able to get in the backyard, no, no problem there. Uh, but it came packaged pretty well. You can see here all the different pieces and parts are kind of in there nice and neat. And uh, one of the things I was looking for was something that would be easy to assemble and yet still lightweight to move around but something that we could set up and use and keep our, our chickens uh, relatively safe uh, the best we can. Um, so this is just unpacking everything. The first thing I wanted to do is make sure all of the, all of the pieces were there. And so we're just gonna sort through here and make sure everything that is needed is actually in the box. It did come with instructions. Instructions were fairly easy uh, to follow, uh, but there you can see a picture of what the coop is supposed to look like when we're all done. Um, so the size of the coop is actually 10 feet wide by 13 feet long by six and a half feet high. So the highest point inside is about... Uh, but as I went through the uh, instructions, I started pulling pieces out and putting things together uh, so that I had the right parts for the right step. I did find one piece that was damaged. It wasn't a big deal. I thought about contacting the company and getting a replacement, but it was a minor thing, and because it goes in the ground, I really wasn't too worried about it. It didn't affect the overall structure. Um, so the first thing was to assemble the rectangular frame. And these things were fairly easy to put together. Um, they just got those little push button, you know, pieces where you slide one end, end of the pole into the other and it's got a, uh, a spring-loaded release and so they just snap in fairly well. Um, but what I did notice is you do have to pay attention to the directions because even though everything is marked and numbered, um, there are particular directions that you need to assemble the poles in. So there was a point where I put some things together and it wasn't fitting and so I had to take it apart and put it back together again. But there he is, you see me pushing in that little uh, spring-loaded tab and the poles just slide in super, super easy. Really don't need any tools. Um, it went together pretty, pretty quickly for me here. Um, so again, just make sure you're putting the right pole in the right position and uh, you shouldn't have any problems assembling it. So, got it all assembled together. You can see the outline of the frame there. Uh, and I, at this point, I'm pretty happy. Right here, what I liked about this unit was these corner braces to give some more stability. Uh, that was an area where you need a little bit of a tool. I think it was just a, a screwdriver and a wrench, not a big deal. Uh, but it will help those corners to be a little bit more secure. The other thing I liked about this was uh, on each of the bases, you see those round discs. You're able to actually stake them into the ground to you know, give the, the whole unit a little bit more stability in the ground. Uh, the door was kind of a tricky thing to put together. Uh, you might want some help with that. Uh, it's just a matter of getting it so that it is uh, relatively straight and that it hangs well. So the next step was to put the screening on, but before I did that, I wanted to make sure I put it in position of where we were going to put our chickens for the season. And so my, one of my boys helped me drag it down to the lower part of the yard and where the chickens were going to be. And uh, it's going to be right next to our duck area. and. Uh, there you see the meshing. Big roll of it came with 
the um, with the product, and I was kind of a little bit worried about just how much was in there and whether or not it would be enough to cover the entire um, the entire uh, cage. You do want to be careful in how you're doing it so that you don't run out. And so I started very carefully just making sure that it fit and didn't do too much like over cutting or anything like that. Um, but there you see it. Uh, it's got roof. It's got a uh, tarp that you put on the one end to help provide some shade and shelter from the elements. And uh, for the most part, it really did go together fairly easy, fairly quickly, uh, and I'm happy with it. Uh, I went back and trimmed up some of those zip ties because the zip ties are what hold the screening onto the poles. Um, so once you clean that up, it is a pretty nice looking uh, uh, chicken coop. This is a great product. At the time, I think I only uh, paid like $250 for it. Um, and there are other sizes that you could order, so you can go a little larger or a little smaller. Um, I like this one because it was what we needed for our small flock. Uh, like I said, it was fairly affordable, $250. There was an extra fee for shipping because of the weight of the product, so it did go up a little bit. But when I figured how much it would cost me to actually get all of the materials myself, either wood or, or piping and the fencing, um, and all the cutting and measurement and all that time, I figured this would be an easier way for me to get my chicken coop together and make sure my chickens were safe for the season. And so, really love this product. Again, it's the Better Hood Metal Chicken Coop. Um, I'll leave a link for it uh, in the description below. I got mine from Amazon. It came within a couple days. Uh, we were able to get it up and get the chickens in it. And like I said, really happy with the product. And so, um, if you're looking for a coop or a run, I would highly recommend this. Uh, affordable, uh, efficient, and uh, so far with our chickens in it, uh, we haven't had any major issues uh, with our predators. Of course, we do have a coop, and we'll talk about the coop at another time. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. So if you're into raising chickens, if you have a backyard flock and you're looking for something to contain them um, and provide a safe space for them, uh, the Better Hood Metal Chicken Coop works for us. We enjoy it. The chickens seem to enjoy it. Uh, but go ahead and click on that link in the description below and uh, check it out for yourself and go ahead and order it. Alright, that's it today. Watch for more of these videos coming up because we're getting into our gardening season and our chicken raising season and uh, we're going to have a lot more of these type of tutorial and product videos coming your way um, so that if you're interested in these type of things like we are, you can learn from the things that we're learning and maybe your experience raising chickens or doing garden work will be a little easier for you. So. That's what we're doing, a new aspect of life in the Hive House, and we're excited to bring that to you. Uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed to Life in the Hive House, we encourage you to do that, because like I said, we'll be bringing videos like these all summer long, along with our family vlog and our various summer adventures. And you're going to want to check those out too. All right, that's going to do it for now. Ring that bell so you know when we post our next one. And as always, check us out, lifeinthehivehouse.com. We'll see you next time.